Hello, this is SR Staley, and I'm talking to you from my summer villa in Bellbrook, Ohio, taking a little bit of a break from the hot humidity of Tallahassee, Florida, at least for June and July. Today, I want to riff off of an earlier video I posted on the art of writing for boys. I think this was video log number seven. And at the time, I had just finished uh, giving a few talks, one of them to an eighth grade class in Tallahassee, and it got me thinking about how boys and girls process action and writing differently. And in particular, boys like to have action up front. Girls, on the other hand, tend to be a bit more patient. At least that was the main theme from video log number seven. And a lot of that came from the reaction I was getting from A Warrior Soul, which is my newest book, which has a martial arts theme and obviously clearly has a lot of action, and then comparing that to The Pirate of Panther Bay. The Pirate of Panther Bay is obviously a pirate book, um, also young adult fiction. It's got cannon fire and gun shooting and, and sword fights, all sorts of things. After all, it's set in the pirate the heyday of pirates. But since then, I have given a number of talks to not only high, uh, middle schoolers, but also some high schoolers. And I'm revising my thinking a little bit on writing for boys as well as girls. In particular, what I've found is while the girls tend to be more patient, they like the action up front just like the boys. In fact, uh, just a couple weeks ago, I was giving a talk to a high school class. It was a great books class here in Dayton, Ohio. And one of the things that persistently was among the 17 students in the class is that they wanted the Pirate of Panther Bay to start out faster. They loved it once they got into it, so it wasn't that it wasn't a good book at all. In fact, they liked it. Look at the reviews on Amazon.com. But what the, even the girls would, really would have liked Isabella, the lead heroine, to really start out with a sword fight. And in or uh, for that matter shoot in the middle of a fight or some sort of a some conflict or tension so what this means is that for my next book in the Pirate of Bantha Bay series which is Tortuga Bay which I've almost completed the draft I'm going to start out with a fight scene right on uh, pulling all the most exciting stuff out of the Pirate Panther Bay, putting it in Tortuga Bay, and in fact, there we're going to start off with Isabella fighting to her death, or actually her life, for her life, possibly could end up in her death um, from the very beginning. But it's a fight that will set up the story for the entire book, and it's also a nice sequel. Also, for the next book in a Warrior Soul, which I uh, series or the Path of the Warrior series, which is with the working title of Renegade, um, we're going to start off uh, with a fight um, right off from the beginning. We're going to start for the action because these are books that really revolve around these kinds of physical conflicts. So it makes sense, both in terms of repelling story as well as meeting the needs of the readers, to put that kind of conflict right up front. So thanks to all the students and to the teachers that have invited me into the classrooms because you really helped me sharpen my thinking about how I need to tell my stories in my books. And for boys and for girls, I need to start off with a bang.